Hello and welcome to Explore SAP. In our previous session, we learned about outline agreements and explored the process of creating both quantity contracts and value contracts. In this session, I'll walk you through the process of creating a release order or purchase order with reference to an existing contract. We'll use transaction code ME21N for this. Let's get started. Before we dive in, let's clear up a common confusion. The transaction code ME 35K is used for releasing or approving a contract. It's part of the contract approval process and is separate from creating release orders. To create a release order, we use transaction code ME 21N. Let's now create a release order for the quantity contract we created earlier, ending with contract number 41. Once inside, Click on Document Overview on to pull up existing contracts. And then press Enter to continue. Secondly, if you do not want to use this transaction code to create a contract, then I will show you another transaction code to do that. So let's create the first release order through this transaction code. Enter the purchasing organization, purchasing group and vendor. And you can enter the company code as well. So the basic idea is to filter down the results as much as you can and then execute it. And you will have all the list of contracts you created. So let us select the contract number ending with 41. So select and drag it to the basket. This will automatically populate the purchase order fields with data from the contract. Now specify the quantity you want to order. Since this is a quantity contract, so you can either choose all the quantities you mentioned in a contract or you can choose the quantity as you want to purchase from the supplier according to your requirements. For example, you have a quantity contract for 1000 cartons. So let's select 10 carton in this purchase order. To confirm the contract linkage, scroll to the right in the line item details. Here, you'll see the outline agreement number. In this case, 46000000041 indicating the contract reference. And further, you can take a look at other tabs if there is any information you can enter. So if you're happy with all the information you have input, so you can click this button check. And you have got this warning messages following order quantity below minimum order quantity 50 car from info record. If you encounter warnings, such as missing partner functions or minimum order quantities, you need to address them. If you get missing partner determination error, go to header details, check the partner determination and manually add the missing partner function such as DP. And for order quantity error, adjust the quantity to meet the minimum requirement if necessary. It says order quantity below minimum order quantities from info records. So basically it is from the info record quantity arrangement. That's why we are getting this message. We will increase the quantity to 50.
So that's it. Now, click check button again. Everything is fine. And no messages issued during check. You can hit save. You have successfully created a release order for the quantity contract. And the system has generated a purchase order number. To verify the release order, go back to the contract by using transaction code ME33K. Enter the contract number. Select the relevant line item and click the button release documentation. Here, you'll see the release order details, including the ordered quantity and order value. That's it with this, we have completed the quantity contract release order process. Now, let's create a release order for a value contract. Again, go to ME21N. Go to Document Overview On. This time, select the value contract N42. This will pull all the details from the value contract into your purchase order. Specify the purchase quantity, in this case, 100 cartons. Add additional details like the plant and storage location, if required. Check the item conditions to ensure the pricing is correct. For instance, the net price might be £100 per carton with a total order value of £10,000. If you need to add discounts, freight charges, or other adjustments, you can do so here. Once everything is set, resolve any warnings and click Save. You've successfully created a release order for the value contract. To confirm, go back to the value contract using ME33K. Enter the contract number. Select the item and click Release. You'll see the release order number, quantity ordered, and total order value. That's it. You've learned how to create release orders for both quantity and value contracts in SAP using ME21N. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next session.